Asian Development Bank is an international development finance institution whose mission is to help its developing member countries reduce poverty and improve the quality of life of their people. Established in 1966, ADB's currently is headquartered in Manila, the Philippines. It is owned and financed by its 67 members, of which 48 are from Asia and Pacific region and 19 are from other parts of the globe. The declared aim that ADB mainly focuses on since its foundation is to make a region free of poverty. To pursue this aim, ADB's main instruments comprise loans, technical assistance, grants, advice, and knowledge. It cooperates with governments, the private sector, non-government organizations, development agencies, and community-based organizations in its developing member countries on projects and programs that contribute to economic and social development. However, the highest decision-making tire at ADB is its Board of Governors, to which each of ADB's 67 members nominate one governor and an alternate governor to represent them. The Board of Governors meets formally once a year at an annual meeting held in the member country, and the general business of ADB is conducted by the President, who is elected by the Board of Governors for a term of five years. In the past 40 years, ADB has supported projects in agriculture and natural resources, energy, finance, industry, and non-fuel minerals, social infrastructure, and transport and communications. More than half of ADB's assistance has gone into building infrastructure, such as roads, airports, parklands, and water and sanitation facilities. Such infrastructure helped lay the foundation for commerce and economic growth and made essential services accessible to the poor. Particularly in the year of 2008, ADB approved loans worth of 10.5 billion US dollars for 86 projects, most of which went to the public sector. Technical assistance, which is used to prepare and implement projects and support advisory and regional activities, amounted to 274.5 million US dollars. However, ADB does have dark side that normal people do not notice easily. According to the ADB's Operation Evaluation Department, 78% of ADB projects in Sri Lanka and 70% ADB projects in Indonesia and Pakistan are in unsuccessful. It is economically non-viable or unable to generate socioeconomic benefits commensurate with costs incurred in the long term. It is also true that lots of internal corruptions are occurring every year. The fact that the president of ADB is always Japanese and that ADB pays no tax are the things that ADB does not want people to know. Since the global economic crisis of last year, ADB has been acting promptly and decisively to meet the needs of its developing member countries. First of all, ADB's crisis-related lending has planned to increase by more than 10 billion US dollars in 2009 and 2010, bringing total of ADB assistance for these two years to about 32 billion US dollars. Also, ADB has successfully expanded its crisis-related support through grants for policy analysis and capacity building. In addition to its funding support, ADB is providing non-lending assistance for policy dialogue, policy advice for government officials at the country level, sub-regional and economic analysis, and forecasts for the Asia and Pacific region. Its crisis-related assistance will largely continue in the core operational areas under its long-term strategic framework from 2008 to 2020. Thank you for listening, Mr. Richardson.